no idea why. I don't know. I don't understand why they stopped doing the great things that they were doing. I don't know. Hi friends, welcome back. So yeah, it's been a while since I've sat here and recorded a video, but it's also been a while since I've posted. Honestly, I don't even know what the last video that I posted is. Uh, I know that I have one that I didn't post that I was supposed to post, but I didn't post and I could still post it if I wanted to, but I didn't post it. And I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> Honestly, I think I'm going to do a video coming up where I just kind of sit down and talk to you about how the last 14 months of my life have gone and kind of explain some of the inconsistencies and all these false promises that I've made. Um, today we are going to do our last and final, as of right now, glam bag unboxing. I hated to have to do this. Like I have contemplated this for so long about a over a year ago at this point, I recorded a video that I said, last Ipsy ever, where I talked about me getting rid of the glam bag base bag. Um, and now I have officially gotten rid of Ipsy altogether. This is my last box. Uh, it is a little bit sad for me to let this go. I have uh, had Ipsy for way longer than I've had a YouTube channel. It's the most of my content that I post on this channel. So when I tell you this was really hard for me to do, it was really hard, but it was a decision that I had to make for multiple reasons. There was multiple things that went into this. By the way, yes, I am in a onesie. I'm comfortable and it's what I wanted. So I did it. And if my voice sounds a little bit weird, I'm getting over a cold. I am great now, but you should have heard me a couple days ago. So this is just... I think my voice and my throat and my sinuses and all that are just recovering. So please forgive me on that. If you don't know what Ipsy is, Ipsy is a makeup subscription box, or I should say a beauty subscription box because there's not as much makeup as there used to be, which is part of the reason I'm getting rid of it. Uh, but there are three different tiers that you could get. You could get the Glam Bag Regular, which it started out at $10 a month, and then it went to $12 a month, and now it's at $14 a month. Uh, and it hasn't gotten any better, but it is five sample size or deluxe items. Every once in a while, you get a full size item kind of thrown in there, but it's 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 a rare occurrence just very rare you generally get very tiny tubes of stuff um and yeah so that's just like the basic i always say that if you're not a big makeup person or you're just trying to decide what makeup works for you that's a really good bag for you to get uh to kind of shop around and then there is the glam bag plus which I thought it was $25 a month, but I think that has also increased a little bit. I'm not really sure by how much. And that is uh, five full-size products that are supposed to be makeup, but they're not. But yeah, so it, they're getting better with customization. You also go in and you review products and they try to customize what they give you for options based off of that. but. I don't know how well that works. Um, and then we're, we have what I'm going to open today, which is the Glam Bag X. And this is, the X stands for a collaboration. This is a seasonal thing. So it happens four times a year, every three months, where Ipsy will collab with a famous person, whether it be famous person in beauty, a famous makeup artist, a YouTuber, whatever the case may be. Uh, and that person will curate a box for that month. So this is the box for November. I don't know how much this box is. I believe it's 55, but I also know that it was an added price on top of the Glam Bag Plus. And since the Glam Bag Plus might've gone up in prices, this might've gone up in prices. I don't really know, but uh, yeah. So it, you don't receive your Glam Bag Plus for the month that you get the Glam Bag X. And there is quite a long waiting list to get on, uh, but I don't know. I feel like a lot of people are dropping Ipsy, so maybe you can get on pretty quickly. 
So this one specifically was curated by Huda. Uh, Huda Beauty is a makeup company, makeup brand uh, that's really, really good. They I've gotten a lot of them through Ipsy, a lot of great products, but then Huda herself is just, I really like her. She's a really cool person uh, and I was excited for her to curate this box. However, I wanted more makeup and you'll see what I mean when I open this. There is... I might have a bare face, but I think it's going to stay pretty bare by the end of this video if I'm being honest. Uh, but yeah, let's get get into our last ever Ipsy unboxing. Not ever. I don't want to say ever. Last for now, Ipsy unboxing. <laughs> so one thing that I really like about the Glam Bag X is they send you this newspaper looking type thing that's all about who created it and like I said this is by Huda. Huda Katan is actually her name and it says Huda Katan is putting the boss back in Beauty Boss. Uh, she is she is a boss in the makeup world, makes great products, um, everything like that. So then when you open it up it gives a lot of her suggestions on how she uses these products. Um, it, this is the only one that gives actual price information for Ipsy, which again, they used to do that and then completely stopped for whatever reason. I have no idea why. I don't know. I don't understand why they stopped doing the great things that they were doing. I don't know. All right. So the first product that I pull out here is from Kenra. It's the Kenra Platinum Glass Spray Luminous Nourishing Spray, which I assume it's a hairspray. It is in a aerosol can. Um, I have literally had this same exact can of hairspray. This is embarrassing. Um, I've had the same exact can of hairspray for, I want to say, eight years. I don't hairspray my hair often. I don't style my hair often. There's nothing I really put in my hair. However, I do need a good strong hold hairspray for when I do do my hair because when my hair is down, it's straight as a pin and doesn't like to style itself, gets oily really fast and stuff like that. So hopefully this is a good one, a good one. Okay, so this here is $23. The next thing I have here comes in this little box with just an E on the front. It says it's from Eclat Skin London. This looks rich. <laughs> like, I don't know what other way to put that, but like, I feel like if I were to receive this from someone, I would ask them why they spent so much money without even knowing what it is. Um, it does say that it is a charcoal, wow, it does say that it is a charcoal black peel off mask, uh, and yeah, so it says to apply a thick, opaque, even layer to clean dry skin, avoid eye area, eyebrows, hairline, and lips, leave on for 15 to 30 minutes or until completely dry, you once or use once or twice a week. I can't talk because sometimes when I try to talk, my nose closes up uh, and stops my words from coming out. Uh, so here is the actual thing itself. It is kind of a small container in my opinion. It does say that it has uh, 1.7 fluid ounces of product and it is filled all the way to the top. I personally have a million and five thousand trillion one bajillion that's not even a number but I have so many face masks I'm trying to get better at using face masks but I haven't used a peel off one in quite a while uh, because I'm trying to do the ones that really get down deep into the skin which for me personally I believe that those are the ones that are like the clay masks where you put them on and then you wash them off so that's what I've been trying to do because as you can see I've been having some issues with patchiness and some redness and uh, the I broke out in stress hives recently so I, I just <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm definitely going to get some use out of it. And honestly, if I don't want it for myself, I might even give this away for Christmas. Uh, my mom doesn't really do well with her skincare, but I have a secret Santa that's coming up for a woman that I don't know. So 
re-gifting. That's one thing I love about these, these bags is if there's something that I don't want, I tend to re-gift them, uh, which is going to be a little bit frustrating and annoying. So this Eclat Skin London Purifying Black Peel Off Mask is $48.34, which is extremely specific, but it's probably because it is a London brand. So it's probably some type of, um, what's that word? Exchange? No, that's not the word I'm looking for. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what word I'm looking for. Um, uh, we need to take money and you conversion, conversion. That's the word I'm looking for. So it's probably converted from whatever London's currency is. Uh, I'm very cultured as you can tell. All right. So the next thing that we have here is from in transit, no traces. Um, it is a rose water and mint infused pad that gently removes makeup and daily pollution. Um, I don't actually, I don't know if the, the product is by this works or in transit or I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the brand is based off of the packaging, but, uh, basically it's one of those pads that is a cleansing pad. I just recently finished the one that I had received from FabFitFun probably about a year ago and I really really loved them. Those were infused with charcoal and I felt like it really did clean my skin. Actually when I was out of them um, I used to use them like twice a week and stuff like that. Once I was out of them I started to notice like not so great things happening with my face. So hopefully that this can kind of get that job done. I kind of use this interchangeably with a toner. So on days where I use a toner, I don't use this. And then on days when I use this, I tend to not use a toner. And when I say this, I mean something like this. <laughs> um, so, okay, so the brand is called This Works. Um, it is the In Transit No Traces. This is only $27. <laughs> there is 60 pads in here. And if you use it morning and night, every night, that's about a month's worth of pads. So $27 does not break the bank for you to have to use that every month. I think the other one that I had received was ridiculously expensive to the point where it didn't even make sense for me to keep the packaging and try to go back in and buy another one. Okay, so the next thing we have here is from Complex Culture. And a while ago when we first started getting these, this brand, I was under the impression that it was an Ipsy brand, but I've started to see it pop up in other competitive boxes. So maybe it's not an Ipsy brand or maybe it's owned by the same people of Ipsy and they just got a really good deal from like BoxyCharm and stuff like that. This right here is an oval paddle brush. And, and no, it, it's not It's not a brush, like a makeup brush or, or anything like that, a hairbrush. You know, the thing that you go to the dollar store and get? A hairbrush. A hairbrush. I mean, granted, the ones from the dollar store, they can be made with not as good of material and therefore tug and pull at your hair and kind of destroy your hair. So I guess there are some benefits of buying a more expensive hairbrush. However, how expensive do you need to get? My whole life I've bought like $10 hairbrushes and I've been good. So if this is more than $10, which I'm going to assume it is going to be, I just don't see the benefit. I don't, I don't get it. it. It does have very interesting bristles. So it has like big bristles and then it has smaller bristles on the inside, um, which I don't know if that's supposed to protect your hair. If it, I don't know what it does. So I'm going to read the box, but we got a hairbrush guys like this is this is now my new microphone <laughs> um so it says go to detangling pro not to have no chance with this flexible cushioned brush the combination bristles gently detangle hair with soft ballpoint tips that massage over the scalp for silky smooth brush and styling honestly that means that this would have been a really great product brush i don't know really great for me Growing up, I grew up with very, very thick, dense hair that would tangle like you would not believe. 
but now as I'm getting older, my hair is definitely thinning. I should have taken more care of it as I was growing up. I'm really, I'm trying, I'm doing this whole journey right now where I'm taking care of myself much more than I used to, especially when it comes to my skin, my health, and just like mental health as well. So like physical and mental health, um, and that includes self-care as well. Um, so I've been trying to take care of my hair a little bit more than I used to, but uh, okay. Well, anyway, so this here brush is $28. So I guess I, should, I could try it. Like I could pull my, I washed my hair today. So my hair is not oily and disgusting. <laughs> let's, let's see what, oh, there's still pins in my hair. We love it. We love to see it. Okay, 20, 28 brush, 20, $28 brush. Let's, okay. Ow, it actually, oh, it actually kind of hurts my scalp. Uh, Not even gonna lie. This is not something that I would want to like use when I first got out of the shower because my hair is so thin when I get out of the shower. Uh, Like my brush goes right through it. Like it's nothing. This would be, well, I guess that kind of makes sense. You want to use a detangling brush when your hair is tangled and not when it's not tangled. Um, but as my hair dries, it does tend to get poofier and thicker. Um, I mean, this did a good job, but is it worth $28? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't. I just, I, I, I don't know. I want to hear what you guys think because... <laughs> It has the brand on the back. We <laughs> maybe we paid $14 for the brand name to be on the back of this hairbrush. Yes. All right, so the next thing that we have received here is from PMD. And uh if this looks familiar to you, that's because we already have one. I'm not sure if we received it from Ipsy or from Fit fun, but I will tell you it was a recent received thing. Same thing, just a different color. To be honest, I wish I had known this was coming because I think I like this color a little bit more than this color. Actually, no, they're both great, but I definitely don't need to, so I'm not going to open it. Um, this is a really, really good product. I'm not even going to cap with you. Like, really good product. Probably what most of this box is worth because it is an expensive product but uh, I don't need two of them. Um, it works really, really well when it comes to uh, exfoliating your skin. I use it every single night when I use really anything that I'm cleaning off my skin with. So I use, uh, there's like a very, I'm gonna use my other one. There's a very nice soft but bristly side that I use when I'm taking off a face mask that like one of those clay ones that I was just talking about or when I'm using my cleanser and then there is a very soft wavy side on the back that I tend to use when I'm putting on any type of cream um, and making sure that it's going all over my face. It does have vibration settings um, and I've never had to charge it Maybe that would be a reason why I would want to because it is electric, but I've never had. That's a really good thought. Oh, it, it has batteries. I have now been a, made aware that it has batteries on the bottom. <laughs> but yeah, so it does vibrate. It has four different vibration settings. Uh, one of them is kind of like a just light, steady vibration. This one's a little bit harder of a vibration. It has a um, pulsing vibration and then a very, very fast pulsing, pulsing vibration. And it comes with this little stand that it stands up on my desk in. So um, yeah, this is gonna be one of my presents for somebody in my life. I, I'm not sure who. So the PMD Clean Smart Facial Cleansing Device in the shade Warmth is $99. Huda's tip is to work this in small circular motions while cleansing and to even your heaviest and even your heaviest makeup won't stand a chance. So what I said, she, she copied me, she copied me. 
No, it's just a really good product. So the next thing that we have here comes in this box and it says wishful across the top and it is a thirst trap juice, which I don't know what that means. I know what a thirst trap is. I don't know what a thirst trap juice is, but that, that's what this is. The directions say to apply serum generously to face and decolate. Okay. Um, gently pat until fully absorbed. Use twice daily morning and evening before applying moisturizer. But I still don't know what it is. You know, it said it was a serum and yet I still didn't really... It didn't like get flushed into my brain exactly what it is, but it's a serum uh, and just like any serum, it has one of those nice little thingy -ma bobbers. but I think this one's kind of cool. This one's a little bit different from what I'm used to. Uh, instead of having the squeezy top, it has kind of like a, almost like a button that you use. I think my favorite thing about serums is having them on my desk and looking rich with them. So like, for example, this is the Lapis Serum, which I really enjoy, but this came in my, uh, what is that called? <laughs> uh, single Swag. This came in my Single Swag bag and I love it. I do actually use it, but on top of using it, I have it on my desk because look at how cute it is. It just looks like you're rich. Like, I don't know how else to explain it, but um, serums tend to be kind of expensive, so that does make sense. Um, I do, uh, not that I could probably smell it correctly, but I do want to give it a little bit of a whiff. Oh, what, what, wait, is that supposed to happen? This little thingy came off of it. I'm going to assume that's supposed to happen. Okay, it doesn't have an overpowering smell but it also uh doesn't have like no scent at all it smells clean and fresh <laughs> from what i can smell <laughs> i do like the packaging of this i must say it's clear but yet at certain angles it really has a holographic feel which christine is quaking because like it, it's not like childish holographic it's like actually I don't know. It looks pretty cool. This looks pretty cool. This is the Wishful Thirst Trap Juice HA3 Peptide Serum for $47. It's a serum. I have a lot of them. Lots of serums. Lots, lots of masks. Actually, here's another serum that I have right here from my last Ipsy bag that is not opened because I don't want to open a new serum that I don't use, you know? You got me, you know? Oh, God. We have two products left that we have to go through, and so far, not a single thing has been makeup. And hi. Yes? Hello, sir. Hi. What's up? Hi. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Okay, goodbye. Let's go away. Goodbye. Okay, so... So the next thing we have here is from Huda Beauty. And one thing I do really like about having this Ipsy Glam Bag X, whatever, uh, whoever is the collab tends to put something of their own product in there. For example, when it was Patrick Ta, I received a Patrick Ta blush. When it was Halsey, I received a Halsey lipstick. When it was Khloe Kardashian... I don't think she has any makeup products, but I definitely received something from Kendall or Kim or Kylie or somebody. There's a big family there. So something was from one of the Kardashians or Jenners. I don't remember who. Um, and then so this one with Huda, we do get something from Huda Beauty. Now she makes beautiful makeup. She makes stunning eyeshadows. Her formula is fantastic. I use it quite a bit. She makes amazing highlighters, amazing lipsticks. Oh, don't even get me started on her like bronzers and, and, and her foundation and, and everything that she makes makeup is fantastic. And she sent a setting spray. A setting spray. We received a setting spray. 
Uh, yeah, so we got the Glow Cocoa Hydrating Mist uh, setting spray. Not a hydrating mist, it's a setting spray. Hold the bottle about six inches from your face. That's the only directions because how can you screw up a setting spray? I like the spray on it, but it's a setting spray. We have received all face stuff and the one thing we received from Huda is a setting spray. Well, I just used the setting spray. Smells good, has a good spray. I'm sure it'll set, you know? I did need a new setting spray. I ran out of my Morphe one, um, but yeah, you know, so, yeah. <laughs> okay, so the setting spray is $35. I don't know why you would spend $35 you probably, actually, let's see. Here is uh, the Morphe setting spray that I'm about to run out of, which is in a aerosol, aerosol container. And this is 2.8 ounces versus her cocoa hydrating mist. Oh, it says shake well before use. I didn't do that. Is 3.38 ounces. Okay, so it's about 0.5 fluid ounces bigger and it is $20 more. So you're gonna pay $20 for 0.5 fluid ounces of product. Yay! This is part of the reason I got rid of Ipsy in the first place. I was receiving month after month, like the same type of product just from a different person. Like all of the products were supposed to do the same thing. And for someone like me who is really busy throughout the school year specifically because of my job I don't always need that much product I don't need that much makeup I don't need that much skincare I mean like I'm getting better at it and I'm getting used to using it but when I tell you I have an entire closet with an entire box full of skincare that I'm gonna be set for like the next 10 years I just didn't need it. Like I'm excited. I get excited about makeup. I like skincare. Skincare is nice. It's good to do. But I get the stuff that I love to receive is the makeup items, the lip glosses, the chapsticks. I don't even care. Chapsticks are fun. The different eyeshadow palettes, the different beautiful looks that you can create, the different types of foundation even. Like those are the things that I got a subscription box for not seven things two of them that aren't even products they're just like things that don't have to do with anything that my public profile is about like you set a profile with ipsy that of stuff that you want and i constantly put on there that i don't want skincare and they've just been sending more and more so part of the reason I'm getting rid of Ipsy on top of the fact that uh, the prices keep getting up and the quality keeps going down is part part of the reason I'm getting rid of it. Okay, the last and final thing that I have here is a makeup item. I just went on that whole rant and we have a our only makeup item of the entire box. This is the Stay Vulnerable Glossy Lip Balm from Rare Beauty. Uh, it's in the shade Nearly Apricot, a luxurious hydrating lip gloss that delivers high shine color with the cushiony feel of a balm. So only, only makeup product we received for the month of November. So here it is. I actually really like this uh, packaging. Something that's really cool about it is instead of being fully round like most lip glosses are and they get lost and you put them down and they just like roll across the entire table. Uh, this one has a completely flat bottom, uh, which I, I do, I think someone was thinking, someone was thinking when making this, but here is the shade. Um, it has not really any scent at all, which is not a bad thing when you get a lip gloss. I would rather that versus a chemically smell or chemical smell or anything like that. But here's the uh, doe, foot, doe foot applicator. It's a little bit weirdly shaped, but it looks like it probably gets a lot of product in there. And it does have the little slit in the middle of the doe foot applicator, which is really good because a lot of products get held in there and it doesn't come off of the wand when you pull it out of the um, 
tube and therefore you don't waste a ton of product. You get to just kind of like one swipe and it's done. So let's actually check, make sure it's one swipe and it's done. Um, oh, it does feel really nice. See, this is the stuff that I like. I like the stuff that I can immediately see whether or not I like it, not the stuff that I'm going to have to use a couple times to see results and then never end up getting back to you guys on whether it's good or not. Um, I really like this. It is hydrating. It is nice. It's really subtle. It's really cute. It's really shiny. It's really glossy. It, it's a lip gloss. So um, I'm going to tell you how much this costs and then we're going to wrap up this video. So this Rare Beauty Stay Vulnerable. Oh my God, I can't talk. This Rare Beauty Stay Vulnerable Glossy Lip Balm is $18. So normally, at this point, I would uh, do a try-on portion of all the makeup items that I received and let you know my thoughts and opinions. Um, my thoughts or opinions are, I gave them five minutes ago with a lip gloss. And maybe, maybe you could also consider the, the hydrating mask, but... In all fairness, I probably will get use out of many of these items. I just, I needed to cancel the box because it just needed to slow down. I, I have other things that I'm saving up for. Uh, recently, within literally the past like three days, I've been on the house hunt and it's gotten pretty serious pretty quickly. So uh, I need to save up for a house, which I also know that y'all are going to be like, what happened to the house tour of the house that you're in now that you didn't give us, that you said you would give us when it was completed? And I I didn't do that. Uh, it's not going to happen. <laughs> hate to break it to y'all now. It's not going to happen. But hopefully, uh, if I do get my own place and I love it, um, which that is my goal, is to end up loving it. I promise, I swear, I pinky promise with everybody out there that I will do a house tour when it's my house and not a crappy apartment that I live in. <laughs> this apartment's great. It's just not mine, if that makes sense. Like it's, it's beautiful. It's lovely. It's luxurious. But uh, I have definitely realized since moving that it's not my forever home, which I don't think it ever was supposed to be. But anyway, We'll talk about it. All of these items add up to this price that I'm putting down here somewhere on the screen, this this amount. Um, based off of everything that I got I, and with quick math in my head, it probably is about $300 worth of product, but the main brunt of that price comes from the PDM facial scrubber, which will be a lovely gift for somebody. I'm really glad to be back. I hope I can get this video out to you pretty, pretty quickly. That's my goal. Um, and I've missed you all. I've tried to stay up to date on other social media but it still hasn't happened i've like posted pictures on instagram with zero captions zero hashtags haven't contacted anybody that's dm'd me same thing on tiktok like i've been posting but i haven't been going live as much as i used to i haven't been interacting with people the way that i would love to and I still, to be honest, I still don't think I'm there yet. I don't think I'm ready for it again yet, uh, but I do plan to get there. And it's just, there's so many other things that is going on that uh, I'm not currently at this exact moment ready for that. But uh, the people who are still there for me and still by my side, I see you, I notice you, I recognize you and I love you. And for those of you that are new, I also love you too. So thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. If you aren't already, please subscribe to my channel. Please hit the bell to be notified when I post a video. I very evidently don't have a posting schedule. So hitting that bell will let you know when I posted a new video. I love you guys so, so much. And just remember that the sky is never the limit. Bye. That felt oddly like I did yesterday.